Welcome back to Outnumber. Two new bombshell revelations emerging in the IRS targeting scandal involving the public face of the scandal, former agency official Lois Lerner. First up, Lerner's attorney changing what he said previously about her missing emails. He now says she did, in fact, save and print some emails, just not all of them. Plus, a development that may be more disturbing. New documents showing Lerner warned her staff to be careful about what they said in their emails and asked whether data in their instant messaging system was stored automatically. Oversight Chair Daryl Issa saying these emails prove Lerner deliberately tried to hide information. This is Lois Lerner clearly cautioning people not to say things on email and being delighted to find out that the local instant uh, uh, chat that they have, uh, this Microsoft product, wasn't tracking what they said so that they could do this instant messaging back and forth at the IRS without any audit trail. And when she, uh, Bill, found out, Lois Lerner found out that her, when the response was no, that the instant messaging isn't archived uh, the way it should be, she said, perfect. Um, I don't know if they're going to get to the bottom of this. I'm not saying Daryl Ice is going to give up, but I don't know if they're going to get to the bottom of this. But when you go back to what the, uh, the letter from the Society of Professional Journalists, two of the things they cited, two of the main four criteria that they were most critical of, blocking requests to talk to specific staff yes. mm -hmm. and excessive delays on interview requests, yeah. that's something that ICE has been banging on for two mm. years now. Right. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it just feels like the writing's on the walls here, uh, Kirsten. What do you think? I don't know. I wish there was a way to get her, you know, give her her immunity or somehow just stop with this. Do you know what I mean? It's just it's so obvious that Maybe stuff they is being she said no. Stuff yeah. is being yeah. hidden and that just there just keeps being more and more evidence. You know, I I, I was trying to think about it. The, the truth is I think a lot of um, this this is actually said more often than you would realize what she said. I mean, I remember when I worked in the in the Clinton administration being when told the same what? thing. Don't put, any, put anything in writing. Don't, you know, pick up the phone, whatever. And it wasn't even that anybody was doing anything wrong. I think it's a political mentality. Does that you know what I mean? You, though? Because it's, when you bring something like that up, you can yeah. understand politics and business as usual. Yeah. But this is the IRS no, that I'm affects not, every American. Right. But I'm not taxes. even defending it. No, yeah. I was just thinking back on it. I was thinking, well, that's Say why it. would we even have to, you know what I mean? Why would that, that ever have been said? Especially with this agency. And, and I think that it is, I think it is politics as usual. I think that that is just the political mindset is always to be, don't ever have any evidence of anything, even if you're not doing anything. You know what I mean? And so, so to me, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily. That doesn't mean they're necessarily doing something. Everything else suggests. But they're supposed to be non-political. You know? They're not supposed to play, yeah, uh, you know, not. at the yeah. behest of the president and target political groups that have voiced freedom of expression and First Amendment against the administration or against the policies. That yeah. is what's well, so they're supposed to be accountable. Here. They're supposed to be accountable. Do, do we're supposed any to be able of you to find... think that they get to the bottom of this without a well, special prosecutor? I, I don't do even you... know if immunity would do it. I mean, then I don't you think she'd say, take it. Do you think would she take it? Would she tell know. the truth? We have no way. What are you going to do? Hook her up to a lie detector? From what you were saying, though, about the journalism of this. This is what we call in journalism independently confirming facts, right? So mm -hmm. she doesn't want to go on record with whatever she knows, but look at all the separate and independent fact gathering that we're seeing now in evidence that perhaps something untoward even criminal happened and perhaps this person was at the center of that criminality, right? I mean, I'd have to say looking at the things that are stacking up, there's a 99% chance maybe they did something wrong. Yeah, well, I, and, and leave out the one percent because there could be the truth. The, the American people are drawing the same conclusion, right? Harris, and that's why they continue to say they want answers. They want to continue with this, but it just seems like it's kind of going on the back burner a little bit, mm -hmm. at least for now. Yeah, well, because I think they can't. They just, they're just hitting their head against a the wall. They just, what can they do? They keep yeah. having this information. Well, and there's a crisis at the yeah. border, and there's there's I a mean, lot going on. There's the Benghazi there's investigation. There's a lot going on. There's, yeah, there's, and there's this. The list is long. Violence escalating in the Middle East, where the Israel Defense Forces say four rockets have been fired at Jerusalem. We have the very latest, and you know the camera shot. You're watching a game on TV, and the camera zooms in on the hottest chick in the stands. Did I say chick? What people <laughs> are saying did. about these so-called, dare I say, honey shots? Honey? Bill, honey? explain. You're gonna. Have I have a few opinions on this, ladies. <laughs>